name is Mandy Marconi. I'm an environmental education specialist for the Pennsylvania Game Commission. This time of the year is a fantastic time to come to Pennsylvania's elk range. Let's tune in to the Game Commission's elk biologist to learn why this is such a popular time of the year and some of the behaviors you may see elk displaying. Hi, my name is Jeremy Banfield. I'm the elk biologist for the Pennsylvania Game Commission. One of the most popular places to um, come and look at elk or view elk is uh, the Winslow Hill area in Benazet. And one of the best times to go looking for elk is during the morning or evening hours. So maybe one to two hours after sunrise and then one to two hours before sunset. So some of the common behaviors that you'll see during the rut, during the breeding season for elk is um, bugling, right? And that's why a lot of people will actually come up here during this time of year is because they love to hear the bulls bugle. They will bugle um, as we say it's partially two things. It's probably one is trying to attract cows and then secondary, it's, it's also territorial. So the bulls are claiming a territory, claiming a harem um, to have breeding rights over them. Because the rut only happens one time per year, there's a lot of competition between the bulls for breeding rights. Um, so some of the things you might see when you're up here is not only you know the vocalization that I talked about earlier between the two bulls, but potentially sparring activity, right? So at some point they could actually fight, physically contact each other, um, lock antlers, and whoever's larger in that case usually will win the breeding rights. So as exciting as it is to be up here during this time of year, you know, during the rut when the animals are, are very active and vocal, um, we just want to caution you to be careful. Uh, there is a risk to human safety. Um, these animals do see people almost 365 days out of the year. They've become very accustomed to people, uh, and as a result, you know, they can be close to you at certain times. And so we just encourage you to stay at least 100 yards away if you can. Um, and maintain a safe distance uh, for your safety as well as the elk safety. Jeremy provided us some great information while visiting Pennsylvania's elk range. While visiting Pennsylvania's elk range, we ask that you please respect private property, don't block traffic, and as Jeremy said, maintain a distance of 100 yards, the length of a football field, away from elk. I hope to see you on Winslow Hill in Benazette this fall.